welcome to Just Say Rock TV, and this time we have in the studio... Stevie from Black Majesty. Stevie, thanks for coming down here, and uh, uh, obviously I'll say it straight from the cuff, mate, it's an absolute pleasure to be sitting down here as well. Cheers. Uh, big fan of your music, big Thank fan you. of what you guys do, and even big fan of Cyclone Tracy, who you were once part of a long time ago, for the old guys out there. Memories. Yeah. Um, Stevie, straight off, how are you? What's new with the band, and um, yeah, how's everything going? Things are going well. We're uh, at the point now where we're recording our fourth CD. Fantastic. And uh, here's a big scoop. It's uh, it's going to be called In Your Honor. I was about to ask for the scoop. So, uh, yeah. When's that going to come out then? That's uh, probably looking about March, April. Um, Fantastic. That's 2010. And uh, yeah, look, things have been you know slowly, slowly rising. So you know, since we formed in about 2002, we uh, released our first album, Stands of Time, to you know. You know, good reviews and good response, and uh, slowly, slowly, you know, things have, you know, been. I guess you know, people have been spreading the word about us. We've been, you know, doing the same, and you know, it's been going very well. We've um, been fortunate enough to get over to Europe, which is, mm -hmm. you know, a big part of our market, mm -hmm. and uh, play some of the um, big festivals and stuff. But uh, yeah, Thrilling Music, um, the new album will be out soon. Fantastic. Well, Stevie, do you want to tell some of the, the punters at home uh, some of the festivals that you guys have played overseas? Because for us, living in Australia, it's so far away, um, we're always drawn to the novelty and the attraction. And it's, it's a proud moment for us Aussie guys to go over there. What's some of the festivals that you guys have played at? Uh, back in 2007, we um, were lucky enough to be part of Varken, um, you know, open air and um, being one of the biggest metal festivals in the world, we we're you know, always, you know, we were absolutely buzzed to, to be part of it mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, to get a good billing and get, you know, a good response, um, you know, we were totally overwhelmed. So, you know, that was really awesome. And um, we also got to play Masters of Rock in the Czech Republic, which well, is fantastic. probably, uh, wow. I guess it's, um, you know, not far behind Varken mm -hmm. Open Air in terms of our numbers and, you know, you know just huge bills. So. Um, you know, that was awesome and, you know, over to Slovakia, we did some shows with uh, Master Plan over there and, uh, yeah, Blind Guardian and, you know, yeah. it, it was, you know, it's been great fun. So, yeah, look, you know, we're, you know, we've been very fortunate to, you know, play some of the, you know, bigger shows and, you know, been wrapped with the response so far. So, That's you know, fantastic. Yeah. I mean, another thing about that as well, when you guys tour over there, because you've been to some of the Eastern Bloc countries as well, did you have difficulties with visas or um, entries or... Just in general, trying to get in and out, or just you know, the mindset of the people? Uh, not so much, no, not really, um, over in Europe. Uh, we're actually, uh, in February, we're off to Indonesia for the first time. We're playing in okay. Jakarta, so that shall be interesting. I know we've you know, got to you know, really get ourselves organised in terms of our visas and stuff for that. Mm -hmm. But uh, Europe, no, not so much. It was just, you know, you know the label helps us out. Little Music helps mm -hmm. us out in terms of you know, supporting us, getting things organised, so we kind of knew what to expect. Mm -hmm. And um, you know when you're asked to do big gigs like that, you you want to be prepared. So mm -hmm. you know that you know was the last of the the uh, you know I wouldn't, the, the negative side, I guess. You know if I, I don't really see it as a big problem or drama mm -hmm. that you know oh man I've got to you know organise my passport to play <laughs> Vark and Open Air or you know <laughs> Masters of Rock. You know so I, I see it you know only as a positive, and it's something that we've always dreamed about. You know as kids, you know growing up and you know listening to metal and stuff. So mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, fantastic, and you guys are off to Indonesia as well for the for the festival over there. Yeah, we're playing um, in a part of uh, the Music Expo in February. So you know that's again it's new new ground for us, and you know just to be asked to be part of stuff like that, it's you know all the better for us, and you know helps us spread the word. So you know all exciting stuff, and you know can't wait to be part of the the Australian version of of course, um, of course. You know, all these big festivals. Of so. course, well switching the attention over to that um, Screen Fest, the concept of Screen Fest when it was first floated to you. How, how did you perceive it? How did you take it? What were your initial thoughts? Uh, a few questions rolled into one. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Look, we're always, you know, open to, you know, playing part of anything that's, you know, metal oriented, uh, because you know it helps us kind of, you know, um, you know, just be part of the scene and stuff. And particularly being Australian, you know, we always, you know, like the idea of playing something, you know, where a bunch of, you know, bands from around Australia and, you know, worldwide are, you know, part of. So. When we heard about Screamfest, we thought, wow, you know, this is something, you know, Australia really hasn't had in the past. So mm -hmm. we've got a two-day festival where, you know, a bunch of bands, you know, you know, I like to say, you know, some of, you know, the cream of the crop of Australia and, you know, worldwide, you know, coming together, you know, some mixed genres, you know, 
these days it's funny as a kid I used to say, you know, I used to um, say to people, you know, what kind of music you're into and I'd say, you know, metal. And uh, these days that's expanded so far and it goes from, you know, your classic metal all the way through to, you know, your melodic power, prog, you know, through to your death metal and doom. So I think, um, you know, it's something that, you know, Australia's got to be excited about. I hope they are and I know just from hearing, you know, from people, you know, that there's a good buzz on it and, um, you know, I really hope that, you know, the the people get behind it because uh, we certainly are. That's fantastic. Now, speaking about the people getting behind it and so forth, um, have you had an increase in chatter or you know, through your own personal sites that come through to the Black Majesty sites about you guys being on the bill and about Screamfest in general? Definitely. Yeah, uh, it's, it's always interesting because, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, I don't mean this in a negative way, but sometimes people, you know, will, will, will say, oh, you know, um, I can't go or something yeah. like that, you know, and that's a, a, a bit of a bummer because... Go. Exactly, <laughs> you know, because this, you know, th this is something that could be, you know, hopefully an annual event. So, mm -hmm. you know, I think that, you know, everybody needs to get behind it because particularly, you know, with um, no, no More Metal for the Brain and stuff like that, yeah. you know, um, you know, hopefully, you know, this can be the new thing that people, you know, latch on to. So, uh, definitely, uh, look, We've had people email us saying, you know, they're, they're coming over from Perth, mm -hmm. you, know, um, you know, different parts of Australia to, you know, s see this bill because, mm -hmm. you know, um, you know we've, we've been hungry for it for a long time, I think. And, yeah, uh, I you, know, and you know, Metal for the Brain, as, as great as that was, you know, um, it, it highlighted Australian music in a big way, which was fantastic, you know. Um, I'm not saying, you know, I, I think, you know, that was an awesome thing. But for this, I think uh, the cool thing is, is that people... Uh, don't have the excuse, you know, because sometimes people will go out and see, you know, um, a Megadeth and Slayer, yet they won't really support the local Australian bands. Correct. Uh, and, yeah. you know, like that will sell out and, you know, there might be a gig, you know, in a couple of weeks' time where, you know, you have some, you know, really awesome Australian bands playing and, you know, they'll only draw a couple of hundred people. Um, so, you know, this is kind of um, kind of bringing the two together. So yep. you've got, you know, a, a cool lineup and, uh, you know, so... I, I'm really looking forward to it, and the whole band is, and I know all the bands part of it, you know, mm -hmm. particularly on the Australian level, are really excited about it. 